Well, here we have yet more evidence of the destructive nature and destructive ideology that has been wreaked upon Europe known as secular humanistic liberalism. This is present over in France in particular. And uh, in this case, because what they do is they bring in all these Muslim migrants. Well, because of course you gotta be a tolerant liberal. You know, that's why I say it. the liberals and also their Jesuit handlers, I'll just put it out there as well, these Je their Jesuit handlers are pushing for this mass Muslim migration. And this right here is the results of that. This has been going on for years. This is not even a new thing. Uh, but France seems to be a hotbed for this kind of stuff. So it says here on a uh, Jihad watch, Muslim migrants screaming Allahu Akbar stabbed six people in Paris train station. Yeah. You know, and this is this this kind of stuff happens on like a like a near daily basis over in France. And the secular liberal humanists and their Jesuit handlers, uh, you know, they know what they're doing, essentially. They're trying to destroy civilization because, you know, integration, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's destructive. But it says here in the article, celebrate diversity. A total of five victims were slightly injured. One policeman from the PAF and four users. The author in his, the author in his 30s uh, has his, his vital prognosis involved. The police officer opened fire, was off duty in civilian clothes and was returning home. Then it talks about the, uh, that was from Europe One. The other source says the perpetrator who, uh, whom, Sorry, on whom no identity papers were found, declared his name to be Mohammed Amy M of Algerian nationality. He says he is 31 years old. The investigators of the criminal brigade to whom the investigation was entrusted are trying to cross check his statements. That was also from Europe One. And also, two police officers, including one who was off duty, opened fire. Three casings were found. The investigators, uh, the investigators verify by means of the testimony of the victims and witnesses that the suspect shouted Allahu Akbar during the attack. Among the victims was a 40 year old Belgian. That also is again from Europe One. So it's funny too because he shouts Allahu Akbar, you know, praises to their Arabian moon idol of Allah of Islam uh, and then you know you have the authorities or the media come out and say well we can't really find a motivation well the motivation is pretty much what he was screaming as he was going on this rampage you know because why do I say that well because Genesis 16 verse 11 to 12 I've referenced this scripture many times you know it's a wild man you know Genesis uh, sorry talks about Ishmael being a wild man and these Muslim migrants are proving that because they are the spiritual descendants of Ishmael and Islam is the spirituality of Ishmael and what's to be expected from Islam and its adherents. Well, they're going to act like wild men following the spiritual footsteps of their spiritual father, Ishmael. This kind of stuff is not surprising. But of course, the Jesuit, uh, their Jesuit handlers of the secular liberal humanists, uh, sorry, their Jesuit handlers, I'll put it that way, uh, know that full well and are pushing this into Europe to obviously destroy culture. You know, to bring in the, the new world order because you got to have this one world system. You, could, you can't have any distinction or borders. Well, I mean, I mean, God forbid you have any borders. You know, that's the truth of the matter. And also, Rome is the mom of Islam. Islam is a product of Roman Catholicism, so this doesn't surprise me one bit that Catholic majority France is becoming a safe haven for this kind of stuff. So, wanted to point that out. Islam is of the devil, plain and simple. This kind of stuff proves the murderous mentality of Islam. Uh, Proverbs 8, verse 36, you know, God says, All they that hate me love death. That's Islam for you. That's Muhammad. So I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.